So for richer design documents, like magazines that you want to publish to tablet devices, including the iPad, we have the Adobe Digital Publishing Suite, which is a solution that we offer to businesses. But it also allows our InDesign designers to create content for this solution. InDesign CS5 brought in the concept on the tools of animation, timing, uh, video, object states and buttons. And these were initially for output to PDF and Swift files, but we can now use these to output interactive documents for the iPad. It's still the same tools. I'll just quickly show you that here I have uh, an object which has two object states. And I simply create two graphics, select both of them, and turn them into an object state, which is one state and another state. And that's fine for a Swift or a PDF file. But going out to the iPad or other tablet, we now have a new tool called the Overlay Creator. So once I have that multi-state object, using the tools that have been in InDesign CS5, the new tools that come with uh, InDesign CS5.5 allow me to take those interactive objects and use them for output to tablets, iPad, Android, Blackberry Playbook. I use the Overlay Creator to build those objects, and as you can see here, they can be hyperlinks, slideshows, and so on. But because I've already got one, I'm going to select this multi-state object, and then tell InDesign how I want it to be able to be played on the iPad. In this case, I just want it to tap to play and pause between the two. But I also want users to be able to swipe, and maybe I want it to auto-play. But you can see the settings here. These are the same settings I would use if, oh, uh, the same overlay creator tool that I would use if I was uh, working on a video or a hyperlink or a web stack. We have the new overlay creator tool. So once I've specified that, then what do I do? Well, I use the Folio Builder to sign in to the cloud server. And when I sign into the cloud server, I export my InDesign file as a Folio file up onto the server where I can then share it with my customers and then um, and get comments and feedback. So what I'm going to do is show you this same file on the iPad, and we'll swap here. And so here on the iPad is that same file that's uploaded and downloaded. And the reason we're doing it through the cloud is because these tablets are connected to the cloud. We, we can't guarantee that this device is going to be plugged into uh, to a laptop. So we're delivering the files through the cloud. Let me just view this file here, and you can see it's nothing more nor less then that same InDesign file that you just saw a minute ago. And here we have the swipe up and down. And here we have the swipe left and right, which is this interactive object here. And it's that easy. Nothing more nor less than using the same InDesign tools I'm familiar with to just add a video, add a hyperlink, add a Swift, well not a Swift, add a, um, a, a movie file, and, uh, and then save it out as a folio file, use the content overlay creator to decide what it is, use the Folio Builder to push it out to my iPad. It's a, it's a great solution and we are building into InDesign the tools to create iPad apps.